All right, so I have three completely unrelated tips. First, if you set your Wi-Fi card into monitor mode using Airmon NG Start WLAN 011, say for instance, you can capture unencrypted HTTP GET requests by using T Shark in the command line. Just run T Shark TAC I WLAN 0 MON or whatever your interface is, TAC Y HTTP.request.method equals equals GET. I really hope these aren't gang colors here. So if we log all that unencrypted HTTP traffic to a file, we can go ahead and process some of those interesting things and glean some information. So for instance, if I do a head tech one on my log file, I'm gonna see that I have this interesting HTTP get uh, over from this client to this server, and it's hitting this main underscore menu.cgi file. And it passes a bunch of different variables and it does those in this get request so you see them in the URL bar. In fact, if you're watching this on YouTube, you probably notice at the top where it says watch question mark V equals whatever. That V is a variable and the whatever is after the equals is the value of that variable. In this case, it's probably a bunch of letters and numbers. And also you can just kind of change those and get different videos at will. Uh, but regardless, uh, there is a bunch of different values uh, and variables in this particular HTTP. So let's take a look. What do we have here? We've got MAC underscore address. So MAC address equals the MAC address of my machine. Great. And then assigned IP equals that IP. And then room underscore no equals 2339. All right. Now we've got a bunch of other stuff like access code and type and all of that different stuff. And then at the very end, we have PMS underscore last name equals kitchen because captive portals are fun. So let's go ahead and clean this up a bit because it's not very pretty in its current state. So to do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and pass the output of this head command. And let's take a look at just gleaning out, I don't know, just the last name. So for that, what I wanna do is use the text processing tool awk. So for that, let's do awk, tac f, and we're gonna do tac capital F, and we're gonna look for pms underscore last underscore name equals. And what we want to do is just print everything after that. So do print dollar sign two. So dollar sign one in this case is going to be that and dollar sign two is going to be everything after that. And if I do that, you can see, hey, there we go. I get kitchen and oh, well, I also get the rest of this, which in this case is an HTTP 1.1. Well, I don't want that. So let's cut that out, literally using the command cut. So cut accepts a uh, tac D for delimiter and we can just specify whatever that delimiter is. In this case, it's a space character, and then we'll do tac F1 to just print the first part of that. And then we get, hey, kitchen. Awesome, we can do now the same thing for that other variable, which was room underscore no equals. And again, let's do print dollar sign two, and there we go. It begins with the room number. It also has all of this other stuff, and again, just like before, we can use cut, tac D, and then our delimiter, which in this case looks to be an ampersand, because we don't want anything after that, and then do tac F1. And now we systematically have a way to pull out the name and room number. Great. Now that's only doing one line in this huge log file. Let's do that for all the lines. So for that, let's just make a quick little shell script. So I'll nano room number dot sh. Start it with a shebang slash bin slash bash. And we're going to go ahead and grep main underscore menu dot CGI uh, from the log file, because those are the only get requests we're interested in. And we're going to pipe that to a while read. So what that's doing is we're going to create a while loop and we're going to read every single line of that log file and then assign the, each of those lines to a variable that we're going to call line. So that sounds good. And then we're going to do something. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to create some variables out of those awk lines that we had just done. So we're going to create a variable called name and a variable called room. Great. So the variables are going to be the outputs of the commands that we had previously done. So to do that, we could do a back tick and everything in between the back ticks will be uh, the output of the command. So like if I did ls, 
it would give me the output of the ls command and that would go into the variable name. That's not the right way to do it. We really want to use the better way, which is dollar sign open and close paren. In this case, everything in between these parentheses is going to be equal to name. So, in this case, similar to how we had previously done head and then the file, we're just going to echo dollar sign line because that's the variable for this particular line and it's going to do it for each of the lines in this file. So, we're going to say echo dollar sign line and then the rest of it is just basically what we had done before. It's that awk command uh, that also sent uh, some stuff to cut to clean it up. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's now do the same exact thing for our next line, which will be our room. So, dollar sign line, and then just as before, all of that awk and cut goodness to give us what we want. And then finally, we can just echo that out because we have those two variables. So within quotes, I'm just going to say um, echo dollar sign name, space dollar sign room, and then we're done. Save the file, bash room number. There we go. Now finally, a completely unrelated pro tip. If you're staying at a bougie hotel, you can save time of paying for your dinners and gin and tonics by just charging them to the room. Just write your room number and your name on the receipt and be sure to tip well in cash. Like I said, three completely unrelated tips. If you have a great idea, bring it to the web the way Shannon and I do and head over to domain.com. With an awesome domain discovery service and a quick and easy checkout process, you'll have the perfect site up and running in no time. And the guys over at domain.com are huge Hack5 fans, which is why HAK5 will save you an extra 20% at domain.com. Or just send them a tweet and say thanks for supporting Hack5 all these years. So, when you think domain names, think domain.com. Did you scratch it already? No, you scratched it. You scratched it. This is a special day. The special day in the life of Seb. The thing is, it needs a case, needs stickers, and more than that. Well, it, yeah, it needs all the stickers. It's, it's all about the layering. You gotta get the, the right amount of surface area coverage. Yeah, well, I start today. You start with a well, base layer. This one layer. in the dark, so that one, should, we should do glow in the dark ones. See, he, he gives, gives me more work to do. Yeah, but, but glow in the dark, man. Okay, well I want, I want the install script to run 10 seconds faster. I'm currently walking through a park in the middle of a city in Sydney and I haven't been murdered once or twice at all yet. I'm gonna keep this rolling just in case though. Still walking. Still walking. It's surprising how little I've been murdered this, this time. Here, I'm trying not to get them in the background because she, she doesn't exist. She's the invisible girlfriend. I was gonna say, Not mine. Like, like you, you know, you hate being on pictures. Do you really want to be on YouTube? Yeah, I'm definitely cutting all of that out. <clears throat> Wait, yeah. that one right there? Yeah. Oh, that one. In between the two, so, oh, that's not a thing. Damn it, then we have to take this way. So there's still opportunity yet. Oh, I'm missing all the rats. Maybe the rats are murdering people and I'm just missing out now. That's a good thing to cut to. It's like, yeah, if rats. only. If only I had a B-roll of a rat right now. Instead, I've just got me not getting murdered. There we go. Can, can we cut through or do you guys ban walking yeah, on the yeah, grass like they do in Indonesia? I mean, if you step on a no-probe here, though. Oh, okay. 
So as it turns out, I don't need to worry about getting murdered by the locals. I just need to worry about getting eaten by the rats or the nope ropes or the drop bears. My voice is toast from the meetup last night, but everybody in Sydney, thanks for coming out. It was a true blast, and I love that we got to repeat some of the fun events from last year's meetup. Stay tuned for details. If you're in the Gold Coast, we're gonna be doing something in May for uh, around the time of Ossert. Uh, so hack across the planet.com on that. Otherwise, real quick, wanted to uh, check out some of these comments on last week's episode. Uh, Benjamin here pointed out something awesome about, uh, you know, similar to MD5, some on Linux, it's, uh, there's a utility built into CMD called cert utils. So I can actually just pull up CMD and do cert util on a file like, uh, I don't know, I think there's a file right there, uh, MD5. Oh, I have to say hash file, tag hash file. And there we go, I've got the MD5 sum, and that was even easier than the PowerShell equivalent, and it kind of breaks my heart to think that Microsoft is phasing out CMD just because it's like based on DOS, and that's something that's been a part of my life since I started touching computers that were like older than I was, because we were poor growing up, and I had like an IBM PC XT with like 512K of RAM. Yay, 512K. Uh, other awesome uh, comment, I always get this, and it's like, why you're running Windows, uh, or what machine you're rocking. And because I'm such a minimalist, I've been using uh, my Microsoft Surface on this trip, even though I love to have the flexibility of both that and my XPS 13 running bare metal Linux. Um, and so I'm kind of like making it work as I travel lightly. And uh, to, to really do that, I've just been, this is my typical like working desktop here. So like I'll, I'll have desktop one, just you know living inside of Chrome. Desktop two, I live inside of the Adobe suite. And so every, all of the illustrations you see on Hack5 are me, um, you know, I'm, and that's all Illustrator. Uh, and then of course, um, InDesign for the new books and stuff, like there's a new book I'm working on for the USB rubber ducky, I think I'm gonna call it Ducket. Um, otherwise, Premiere, I have tried every video editor on the Linux platform. Nothing even holds a candle to Premiere, I love it. Uh, Photoshop, there, again, there's no equivalent, and I just love the way that all of those Adobe products kind of work together. It's a really, it's a beautiful thing, and I swear if Adobe would make their own Linux distribution, I'd just move to it. Um, otherwise, other desktops I live in, um, you know, all of my Linux and stuff right now is in uh, VMware Workstation. It's a little pricey, but it works great. So I live in that, um, and then the rest of it is just, you know, my coding workspace. So that's kind of just what I've been doing and um, it's working for me. So I know Windows is like that terrible relationship where you just keep coming back and you keep getting hurt and you're wondering why you're in it and, and yet it's just working. And I'm, I'm really, it's just, it's actually because of Adobe. It's not even Microsoft, it's Adobe. Damn it, Adobe, port your stuff to Linux and then I can finally get rid of Windows forever. Except for the video gaming. I wish I had time for more gaming. All right, I'm gonna go get a haircut and fly drone. Cheers. Sydney has been amazing, but this hotel experience pretty bad, and I'm not gonna get into why. However, I will share with you a real pro tip, which is if you ever end up doing something that you regret or you make a stupid mistake, this is how you get over it. You want it really nice and hot. You literally wash your hands of it. Seriously though, I read in a study once that that actually works, and it's been working for me. Oh, that's cool. I've got like an infinity mirror effect. And so now I bid farewell to Sydney. And next up, Thailand. Hello. 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 Hello.
الاحزان الان طوال الرحله وابقائه ظاهرا فوق البطانيه خلال نومكم لكي لا نستطيع So I'm on an Emirates A380 on my way to Thailand, and because I'm an awesome hacker, because I can social engineer, because I'm sneaky, I'm in the laboratory here of this A380 in first class, a water closet, WC, it's the toilet. And this is ridiculously fancy, I think there's a shower behind me. Oh look, it's Dubai. And so my life hack works here just as well, if you turn the faucet correctly. Ridiculously hot water, wash your hands, you'll feel better about everything. Also, fancy people, use actual towels. And of course, since the cockpit is like right over there, what I'm really curious about is where does this door lead? I really wish I had my lockpick set with me right now. But of course, flying internationally with my lockpicks, probably not a good idea. Oh, that's me. Again and again and again and again and again and again and again. And again 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 and again. I need another gin and tonic. I should get myself another gin and tonic. Through that door. There seems to be an entire liquor cabinet and a gin and tonic waiting for me. Maybe. I'll do this, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. That looks about right, doesn't it? It definitely does. <laughs> you get that going. Because that is, that is a beautiful Wow. Okay. And that was an awesome trip on an A380. And it also means that I'm now in Thailand. And supposedly the New Year is tomorrow. What? The New Year is tomorrow? I don't even, I don't know how to even do this. I'm gonna figure it out. I don't even have a clue why I'm here or what's going on. Back across the planet. Also, thank you, Blue Ant.